Hello everybody out there on the internet, I'm the Toaster, and today we are finally reacting to Hobson. So it's going to be Ill Might of Hobson 5, this is the one I've been told to start at, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, and if requested specially I'll go back and do 1, 2, 3, and 4. I might do 4 anyway because I heard 4 is pretty good, and, he's, and I don't know, 1, 2, 3 if you want it I'll do it. But I'm probably going to get through this Ill Mind series and then get into his other music, just like how I'm doing with Chris Webby and his Raw Thoughts series. So I'll do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I might jump around to some of his other stuff. And then, you know, like I said, if especially requested, I'll do 1, 2, 3. I'll do 4. I don't know when, but I'll do it. So, you know, I've been excited. I've been hyped for this. Um, I know he's going to be good because Hobson, I don't know. I've heard a song by Hobson, and this is a true story. I think when I was 13 years old, so about seven years ago at this point, I listened to, oh, I actually don't know what it was called. Um, it was a song from, I think, an album called Haywire. I'm just going to have a quick look because um, I know what it was called. No, no, no. So it's from Raw, I believe. Um, and it was... I'm not crazy. That's it. Sorry, it took me a while. I'm not crazy. I heard that because it was in my friend's car. And I'm like, oh, yes, yeah, pretty good. It's just like a, you know, funky song. Um, and I enjoyed it. But I don't remember it really, so... Jeez, that was a long time ago at this point for my memory to get back for. I remember playing it in the, we played it in the car and I'm like, oh, it's pretty dope. Didn't really mention it because at the time, you know, I didn't like hip hop, but, you know, it sounded nice in the car, so I kind of just listened to it and let it play out. Um, so that's all I know of Hobson. I just know that I've heard him before. Don't remember him, but, you know, I'm happy to start exploring his stuff now. You know, we've done NF. We're not done NF, but, you know, we've started the NF journey. We've started Ren. We've started 21 Pilots, Chris Webby. Those are the hip-hop ones, really. Then we got, like, Joji, you know, JPEG Mafia, um, Gene Dawson. I think those are the main ones I've done so far in, like, the rap hip-hop sort of mindset. Because Joji does some hip-hop and, you know, the others are kind of just rap. You know, otherwise or not, I got, you know, Ulster Ike, Cabs, all them. So I'm happy to get into this. It's, it's about time. Sorry for the longer introduction, you know. I just wanted to cover all bases. Sorry about the video quality to anybody new watching for the Hobson reactions. Uh, I know it's not the best, but it's all I can do with, with what I've got right now. I am unemployed looking for a job. So as soon as I get some money, I'm going to put it into the camera and, you know, get some better quality microphone and editing software, all that jazz. Um, I'm really excited. So we're going to start at Illmind 5, like I said. I'm pulling it up here. Um, and we'll just get straight into it. So 3, 2, 1. Let's kick it. Illmind 5. There he is. Love the contact lenses. You know, they're just so cool. I think they work really well. I, especially since I think he started out as horrorcore. Or like, he was getting into horrorcore genre. I think I heard that from one of my friends ages ago when he told me about Hobson. I never really listened because, you know, I didn't expect to listen to Hobson anytime soon. But he's going into horrorcore and I think he now does like, just pure lyricism and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think that entire look just fits his vibe. I really enjoy it. And I like this beat. Dum, 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 dum. Man, I hate rap, but if the shoe fits, wear it. I become. Ooh, let me get. Let me get. Um. Hopefully these are not auto generated. Just because I forgot. Sorry. Um. Let's get back into it. Man, I hate rap, but if the shoe fits, wear it. 
I become a freak of nature, all the kids stare. Who walk around bumping raw with the shit blaring, saying fuck school and dropping out like a miscarriage. I'm embarrassed, and I'm ashamed I played a part in this devilish game, making your common sense perish. But I ain't taking the full blame, because most of you chumps running around here ain't never had strict parents. Only I believe he's talking to, you know, to people who just live life without any, you know, any thought. You know, they just go to parties, get drunk, get high, um, you know, they don't have a purpose. They just kind of live. Because, you know, he's in this, like, it looks like a smokehouse, really. And he's just saying, you haven't had strict parents, but you just listen to rap, which is rotting your brain, and I hate it, but I'm not taking a full blame, you know. And he says, yeah, all your brain cells run from re weed, as he mentions later on, but I think he's talking to kind of just, like, the low lives who have no purpose really i really like his voice and he's got such a nice flow it's really simple and his voice is easy to catch so you know i can understand it pretty good but i ain't taking the full blame because most of you chubs running around here ain't never had strict parents all of your brain cells rotten from weed you feeling like if you ain't got it life's not as complete you having sex with every motherfucking body you see with a past so dark to satan to jump out of the seat but still you out in these streets thinking you hot as can be without the knowledge to lead so you just follow the sheep making sure your lame swag is all polished and clean while your favorite rappers like yeah you got it from me you been is that a lil wayne Post Making sure your lame swag is all polished and clean while your favorite rap I think that's Lil Wayne. I can't really tell. Lil, that looks like it might be a W. You know, I've heard Lil Wayne's a really good rapper. You know, he's one of the tops apparently. So I don't know if, if this was like Hobson trying to get clout because I guess he was less popular at the time and, you know, calling out people gets you clout. Or he just doesn't like his music or it's just, you know, saying rappers that talk about money. And I know... I think Lil Wayne talks about money a lot and drugs like lean, but I know he's a lyricist um, and really respected. Now, a line I really enjoyed was um, this one, without the knowledge to lead, so you just follow the sheep. So I think, yeah, he's talking about the people who just go along. He's, you know, calling out, you don't do anything and you can't even lead, so what, you just follow everybody else and you got no life, you got no purpose really. To lead, so you just follow the sheep. Making sure your lame swag is all polished and clean. While your favorite rapper's like, yeah, you got it from me. You been brainwashed by a fake life that you used to live in. When I say the word fun, what do you envision? Probably drinking and smoking out with your crew and chilling with clueless women. You trying to bang, bumping new edition. I love that. I love that. That was a nice flow he changed to. Um, new edition, that's Kanye, isn't it? It's either Kanye or Drake. I think it's Kanye, bro. Um, but it's an album, I think, before my time, obviously, in hip-hop, because I only started this year, but it's one of the old, like, Kanye albums, I'm pretty sure. He's calling him out good. I like it. It's not... It doesn't sound too preachy, you know? A lot of this music, I, I feel like, would come out, you know, being preachy, and I can see... Like, people say he's corny. I don't think he's corny so far. I think he's just kind of spitting what he believes, and... You know, he's not wrong. They're just kind of going along, getting wasted, doing nothing with our lives. Probably drinking and smoking out with your crew and chilling with clueless women. You trying to bang, bump a new edition. Is that all you think life really is? Well, if so, then you're a fucking idiot. I honestly feel like grabbing your head and hitting it. Matter of fact, you don't even deserve a brain. Give me it. Do you even have any? That <laughs> made me flinch. I didn't expect him to punch the camera. Um, I like that. I like that. He changed the... Um, background music to kind of fit with him talking. You know, you don't deserve a break. Give me it. They don't. They're wasting away. For like grabbing your head and hitting it. Matter of fact, you don't even deserve a brain. Give me it. Do you even have any goals aside from bagging these hoes and packing the ball? Well, let me guess. No. You're only in school because your parents make you go. And all you do is play beer pong and hang out with the bros. Yo, society's got you living for a whack cause. You're a fucking adult with no skills at all. You don't. You know. This is kind of like a wake-up call, not for me anymore, but I used to kind of be like that. I'd kind of changed recently when I got out of high school, but I kind of just went along with what my friends were doing. You know, we didn't do anything other than just being public menaces, listening to loud music, you know, rolling around town at night, um, shouting, and, you know, occasionally we'd get, you know, drunk or we'd do illicit substances. Nothing too bad, you know, just the marijuana that was, I think, when I was 
17, 18, um, almost 20 now, about a month, and I'm 20. And very much last year and this year is when I decided, like, what am I doing with my life? And I decided to change. Last year, I started learning Japanese. I started working a lot more full time. I got, I lost my job at the end of the year because of Christmas, um, you know, t- taking new kids on for Christmas and they had to let me go. But, um, you know, that didn't really set me back too much. I continued learning Japanese in my free time and I started reading a lot more books. I started listening to more music. And then this year, I started listening to new genres of music, which is why I'm even listening to this in the first place. I'd tell myself, hey, look, you can't just listen to rock and metal and country all your life. You know, there's a whole world of music out there. Rap, I've been told, has deep meaning a lot of the time and, you know, very personal sometimes and has good messages. So I'm like, let's give it a listen. And now I'm on my journey. You know, first couple of songs I listened to were NF on this channel. So my NF Mansion reaction was like my fourth rap song I've ever really heard and fully listened to. So it was, it's, I've opened up to it a lot and I think it's a good message that he's trying to preach here because, you know, if I didn't decide to change, who knows what I'd be. I'd probably be, you know, broke, even more broke than I am now you know, on drugs, more antisocial, doing nothing in my life. So I'm, you know, this is a good message, especially for people my age. In school because your parents make you go and all you do is play beer pong and hang out with the bros. Yo, society's got you living for whack cause you're a fucking adult with no skills at all. You don't read any books or play ball. You don't draw. You literally do nothing at all. Still you fiend for the glamorous fruits you don't have cause you idolize rappers that do. And all they say is I got money in a stack to the roof. And now you think that it's gonna magically just happen to you? <laughs> exactly. Now, your lazy ass don't commit to labor. You pick something up, try it out, and put it down two minutes later. <laughs> Exactly. And, you know, if you tell them, oh, you need to pick up your life, they start, you know, shutting you out. They think you're, well, you're sorry, they think you're part of the problem, you know. Uh, you're hating me. You're, you're not following, letting me follow my dreams. You know, you're not supporting me. But this is what they do. They, you know, they listen to this sort of rap that doesn't have a meaning. And, you know, it's fine to listen to that because I've listened to some of that now, you know. I think I've heard some songs that are less meaning, more just sound, and I enjoy them. But if that's all you listen to and you're like, huh, maybe I can get rich. And you try it, you're lazy, you don't put the effort in, you put it down, you're not going to get what, you know, you think you deserve. You know, you put, you get as much out of the work you put in. Is that the saying? I don't know. The more work you put in, the more you're going to get out of it. If you're lazy and put barely any effort in, you're not gonna get the rewards from that. Your lazy ass don't commit to la- Which is why I don't understand how these, you know, new age mumble rappers are getting so successful. You know, I can't talk because I haven't listened to it enough. But you know, I've listened to like three Lil Xan songs before I did my Chris Webby diss track on him. And I could already tell it was zero effort, so you know, I don't wanna hate on a a group that I barely know, but it seems like that's the case. Labor, you pick something up, try it out, and put it down two minutes yeah. later. Then you complain about your life because it ain't getting catered. Now, whoever yeah. tries to call you on your bullshit's a hater. You want to exactly what you I said. Try. Oh, one day you'll get older and regret it all because you can't provide. Mm. Your friends are low lives. Don't act surprised. Look, just cut the bad fruit off of the tree. Make the sacrifice. Girls. Gotta think towards the future. When you have kids, a family, you know, you're living out on your own, you need to be able to provide. You need skills. You need qualifications even sometimes you know you can't just always be a sheep and follow along getting drunk and high and doing nothing you gotta make it in life otherwise you will be homeless you will lose friends and family you know you'll be left behind while everybody else is advancing themselves oh lives don't act surprised look just cut the bad fruit off of the tree make the sacrifice I love this voice girls Stop acting like you want a guy with traits like Romeo, bitch, that's a fucking lie. You always talk about how every man's faking, you can't take it, and you want something real. Shut up, tramp, save it. Talking about, like, the club girls, you know, the ones that, you know, go out looking for a quick, quick meet and that, and then they expect, you know, oh, give me your money, oh, you're so rich, I'm going to be with you. You know, you put in, like I said before, the more effort you put in, the more you get out of it. And a lot of girls like this that he's talking to, 
but don't put the effort in, they just want the reward. You're not going to get the reward if you do not put effort in. Guys want someone who can stand behind them and, you know, support them and be there for them. And, you know, we don't want someone dragging us down. It's the same with girls, obviously, but, like, oh, it's getting, like, out of hand, I'd say, from what I'm hearing. Like, there's a whole new generation of people like this, and it's making it extremely hard to find an honest girl, honestly. Like, I'm not going to get into it, but it's hard now. It's hard. Dating is not what it used to be when I was you know, in school and people would go out for meaningful conversations. It's now just getting on Tinder, a girl saying you have to be six foot tall, you need, for Australia, it's six foot tall, you need a land cruiser or a ute, you need to be a tradie and you need a mullet. Those are, when I, go on, when I went on Tinder back in the days, then I was like 18, 17 even, no, just 18 actually, yeah, 18 when I went on Tinder. That's all it was for Australian girls. You know, they want a guy that works a trade and has a car already. They don't care. They don't put effort in to get to know someone. They just want the instant gain. Ugh. Sorry. I've paused it a lot more and a lot longer than I should have, but... Girls, stop acting like you want a guy with traits like Romeo. Bitch, that's a fucking lie. You always talk about how every man's faking. You can't take it and you want something real. Shut up, tramp, save it. Twice a week you put on your makeup and damn bracelets and head to the club half naked with your ass shaking. Pulling the low life nigga who claim he cash make it till you let him hit and find out he work at the gas station. One of them niggas got you pregnant and you can't raise uh, it, but you caused it. Your actions made a fat statement. You want Romeo to now. Fat statement? You know, when you get pregnant, you get fat. You made a fat statement. Oh, that's smart. You're pregnant, man. You can't raise it. But you caused it. Your actions made, made a, a fat, fat statement. statement. You want Romeo to knack patient and stop fronting like you in the club posted in the back mm. waiting. It's the club. You won't find a real guy in a club most of the time. Like, you might get lucky, but most of the time, guys are going to the club to get with girls like this. I'm not saying that's all the time, but guys are going to the club a lot and girls are going to a club a lot they've all got the same kind of motivation a lot of the time go to knack patient and stop praying like he in the club posted in the back waiting it's the club when guys put on a new persona after they get loaded with a few coronas they always shouting and wild out with habits that very few can don't have they look for beautiful brainless bitches like you to bone them then when they leave you you cry and cry talking about oh my god i can't find a guy i've spent so many years and i've tried and tried why am i even on earth i should die you want he got the um, club girl voice down really well. That's what they sound like a lot of the time when complaining. No offense, it's just personal experience. You know, you're not gonna find a guy of your dreams in a club. Just accept that. Many years and I've tried and tried. Why am I even on earth? I should die. I can see how this could be corny, but I think it's just good rapping and it's just nice to hear. You want Romeo, you're not worthy. You're cock thirsty. You're nasty and probably got hurt me. Sometimes the secret to find is to stop searching. Try a new formula because your last one's not working. Oh, that's a really good line. I really enjoy that line. Where is it? Ah. Uh, Sometimes. Sometimes the secret to finding is to stop searching. Try a new formula because your last one's not working. You know, I would actually put that on a quote board. I'm gonna actually hold up. I'm taking a photo of this. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a quote board in my room, but I change every day. I like writing myself little daily quotes in the morning, just to you know, motivate me to get started with a day. That's a really nice line, you know. Stop searching in the club. He's saying, you know, you're not gonna find it if you keep searching in the same places. If you stop trying, but you put in work and effort, and you become a decent person. You know, you'll get it. So stop searching, because you'll find someone if you stop whoring yourself out, pretty much. The secret to find is to stop searching. Try a new formula, because your last one's not working. The term real niggas publicly used, and I need to know what it means, because I'm fucking confused. Are you one for always bust? So talking about the gangsters now, I presume? Real niggas publicly used, and I need to know what it means, because I'm fucking confused. Are you one for always busting your two with nothing to lose and something to prove the homies up in your crew? Is it because you're selling drugs to get loot and brag about how you done been shot and stabbed like it's fun to be you? But your life's a struggle, right? And you That's the life right there. I'd love to get shot and stabbed. <laughs> um, you know, I can't really talk about this, because in Australia, I don't know any gangsters necessarily. Like, there's like... 15 year old white kids with curly hair and 
vapes, we call them ashes. That's as close to a gangster as I know. I genuinely don't know of any, so I can't relate it to real life, but um, I know in the bigger cities there are probably. But even from like the rap I've heard and movies, you know, they think it's really good to be a gangster, and I'm sure it could be a lifestyle. I'm not going to comment on it because, you know, I don't know. I haven't lived it, but it doesn't sound like a life for me. Let's put it that way. Get loop and brag about how you done been shot and stabbed like it's fun to be you, but your life's a struggle, right? And you just hustling through. Nah, you hamster ass nigga, you just stuck in the loop. Man, why do black people gotta be the only ones who can't evolve? Hamster stuck in the loop. Nice little bar there. Ah, you hamster ass nigga, you just stuck in the loop. Man, why do black people gotta be the only ones who can't evolve? Cause you in the streets acting like in the Neanderthals. Clear you can't stand the law. You lost is in the band and dog, and all you interested in is fighting rap in the basket. Ooh, that flow. It's clear you can't stand the law. You lost is in the band and dog. He did it way better than I can, but you know, he's just got a, He's changing his flow a lot. He's got the more calm parts. He's got the more clear parts. I mean, he's got these like little choppy parts that go. But da 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 da. Really talented. I really enjoyed this. Good message as well. I mean, I related mostly to the first person. And if I didn't change and I heard this, it'd probably help change me. Unfortunately, I just picked... No, I'm not going to say unfortunately. Fortunately, I changed myself and, you know, I don't need this message anymore, hopefully. Um, but it's still a good message to be out there. Man, why do black people gotta be the only ones who can't evolve? Cause you in the streets acting like in the Neanderthals. Clear you can't stand the law, you lost is in the band and dog. I really like the background. Do, 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 do. Is that like a saxophone? I don't think it is. It's like some sort of flute, instrument, brass, woodwind, something like that. I can't really pinpoint it. And all you interested in is fighting, rapping, and basket. To be fair, it's probably a synth, but you know, it's meant to be mimicking that, I think. I can't even fuck with you, because if we out in public, you're going to get caught stealing some shit and get my ass in trouble too. You'll get old and be nothing. Living life in these streets, thugging and starting shit with anybody mean mugging. Look at you, a real nigga, thinking your life's cool. Girls used to turn me down for guys who were like you. Till you grab their heart and shove a spearhead right through. Then they regret it because it wasn't the right move. Yeah, he's got a motive for it. <laughs> I guess he was um not fugging as a kid. He was probably just a quiet kid or something, or, you know, at least like a smart or popular or unpopular kid, I mean. So I don't know, he's probably got like a little personal vendetta against them, but... So you grab the heart, he's spooking the troops right still. Through. Then they regret it because it wasn't the right move. Your real nigga talk seems bogus. A real nigga don't brag about being real as long as he knows it. And his future doesn't seem hopeless. A real nigga stays out of jail, handles shit and he keeps focused. So all you rappers who... Hmm... That can be, I guess, to anybody, you know? Like, I'm going to replace the word that I cannot say with person. A real person doesn't brag about being real as long as they know it. And their future doesn't seem hopeless. A real person stays out of jail, handles shit, and keeps focused. That's a good life advice in general as well, you know? You don't brag about being real, like, oh yeah, I'm so real, I'm out on the streets shooting people and, you know, disposable vaping, don't take that out of context. Disposable vaping, um, throwing bricks at cars, stealing cars, you know, that's what we get in Australia a lot, especially where I live in, in North Queensland. But, um, you know, I can, it's, it works for everybody, stay out of jail, keep focus. Strive for your dreams. So is out in the wrong, you inspire stays out of jail, handle shit and he keeps focused. To all you rappers who so is out in the wrong, you inspire the issue I wrote about in this song. You go to pile on the young who roam around in the slums. See, this is what happens when rap's overcrowded with bums. Hope the hour is long when I roll. I really like how you that. He put, um, you go to prowl on the young who roam around in the slums, and then he goes overcrowded with bums. And you know, a bum is a homeless person. They live in slums. So, he's saying the kids, you know, they're out here in the slums, you know, they're low economical areas. And this is what happens when rappers overcrowd with bums, you know. People who, I guess, maybe he's saying they've been from these areas and then they just talk about the same crap as other people who, and what they listen to, I guess. I don't know, I'm not able to word this properly. I'm just trying to relate bums and slums. It's a good rhyme. 
Rolling out with your tongue, the man above is my guide. He knows over proud of with bum. Hope the hour is long when I'm rolling out with your tongue. The man above is my guide. You know the power is strong. All you minutes and freaks are only in it for cheese. And the mass control limit was breached. Fuck hip hop. They only in it for cheese. And any eyewitness can see. They purposely making the innocent weak. My existence on this planet's for you. I ain't only here to benefit me. Yo, we need to make a change while there's still time. It is hard, and sometimes I struggle trying to reveal mine. I can guide you if you feel blind. I just need you to be willing to journey into my ill mind. His eyes, I love his eyes. I love the, like, purple. Ooh. I like the purple little light in there. Mm. Let's let this run through. Funk Volume 2012, Hobson Swizz, Dizzy Wright, DJ Hopper, Jaron Benson. I guess that's his crew at the time. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry if I paused a lot in this and, you know, talked random crap but didn't need to be said. Um, but, you know, it was a good song. I really enjoyed it. It was like a wake-up call for three different groups of people. It's telling you, you know, not to idolize rappers unless you have a goal, you know. I'd say you can idolize rappers, just do it in a way that benefits you. If you want to look at, let's take Lil Wayne, for example, like the poster. If you want to idolize Lil Wayne, then put yourself out there. Do the work that Lil Wayne did. You know, get successful, invest your money wisely, and, you know, make an enterprise. Because he's a big name now. He's got features, he's got everything, and he probably... I don't know, but he probably didn't do that by wasting his money, you know, bragging. I mean, he probably did a bit, but, you know, he obviously made some smart choices to be where he's at today. So put the work in, put the effort in, and you'll get somewhere. I think it's a nice message. Definitely related to the first guy first, you know, the loser, I guess, is what I would describe him as. Um, fortunately, I'm out of that now. And then, you know, the girls... I see that a lot, um, kind of given up on dating people like that, and, you know, just, I guess the gangsters, I can't really relate, I don't know any gangsters, I don't think I've even really seen any, you know, I live in a pretty small city, well, not small city, but I live in a rural area next to a big city, um, and it's mostly just young white kids stealing cars and breaking into houses and stuff. I don't know about any gangs or anything. Um, but I, I, either way, it kind of relates, you know. If you want to be a good person, don't go to jail. Don't steal cars. Don't make a mess of yourself. You know, easy as that. I really enjoyed it. We're going to do six next. I don't know when. Probably either tomorrow or the next day. But I really enjoyed it. It's what I was hoping for. It had a message. It was... A good, I loved his voice. It was really nice. It was unique. If like, it didn't sound like every other rapper I've heard, which was nice. Um, I don't know what else to say. You know, it speaks for itself. A good message, good flow, great voice. I like his look. I really like the contact lenses. Really dope and suits him. Um, I wish I could say more. I really do, but I'm out. Of, I'm out of words, and I don't want to repeat myself. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Any comments you leave, I'll read and I'll most likely respond to as soon as I'm able to. So, you know, thank you once again for watching. Welcome to any new viewers and I'll catch you later.